Because if even with cleaning, it's if you're not using it fully, you're gonna clog it. Uh, so this has to be done if uh, you are, let's say, more than 15 days out of your office. Yes. 15 oh, days. That's uh, a long time too. You want to not be out of your office 15 days. You want to touch your printer once within 15 days. You know that you want to flush your system. That's the safest way. You might get lucky. I wouldn't take a risk. So you're that. taking but this side say, panel off yeah, now, yeah? It's more comfortable. Okay, all yeah. All the time you are, you are there, then you don't need that. Yes, yeah, all the time you're there is you don't need that. You don't need to flush at all. Unless you get a problem. So you're going to cover with them how to, one, take the print head out, flush it. Uh -huh. Two, how to fill it and uh, get it ready for extended stay or for shipping to a customer. All right, you can do that, right? Can I ask, is this documented? Is it in a maintenance... We have, uh, a, we have a small video. Yeah, but I have a big best, one. Yeah, it's probably better for you to have the, your video because you can actually communicate with them. <laughs> <laughs> you have four screws. There are four screws on each side. Yes, now, so. the same as the other side. Yeah, but one, one's different. One's actually inside here. In this hole. Yep, fine. Okay. So, you are also showing how to prime the damper. Okay. Okay. Just so you have it, and I'll show you why you have to prime the damper when you change it. And, uh, that's it. Oh, don't forget to tell them not, not to mix the screws on the printhead. Right? What screws have to go where. Okay. Until they're familiar with it, keep them separate so they know okay. what screws go where. There's metal screws and plastic screws on this machine. Oh, right, yeah. And even in the printhead, there's small screws slightly smaller screws <laughs> so you need to make sure that the yeah. right screws in the right place otherwise you run the risk of having a loose connection again. these are the the guard right the cover, the cover. Mm -hmm. the very, the i'll be back guys. yeah where are you going i'm going to the restroom <laughs> now what i usually do the restaurant is open yeah is it yeah. it's open I want, I want. oh yeah hopefully <laughs> okay what i usually do is um i put like a towel or a shirt Couple shirts around mm -hmm. right here. So I can rest this print head on it. I see, yeah. So you won't damage anything. Now, first thing you do is there's an encoder strip that Justin was talking about. It's in between these grooves right here, see? Mm -hmm. It's in between. Yeah. Like a groove. Right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull it down, twist, and pull up. So it's out, right? There you go. Now it's out. It's out of the groove. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now what you're going to do... Well, first, get this one out. I need to keep, keep the screws with the... Yeah, with the piece. With the piece, so I know exactly. Okay, now this... Yeah, yeah, this is the side panel. Uh-huh. For this one. Okay, uh, now there's a belt and it's mm -hmm. attached to it. This is what moves the print head. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I hold this and I kind of pull, pull it out. But while I'm moving this towards it, mm -hmm. and it's a lot easier to take it out, see? And it naturally oh, yeah. goes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now what I do is I tuck this under, put this over. Okay? This has a, there's springs on the wheels. Okay, so get it out, you push back, see how you see it go in. I'll make sure this chip is in this hole. Push in, take out. What you're gonna do is always remember, you're gonna push it, you're gonna turn it forward. Forward, never this way, forward. You're gonna rest it on the shirt. Mm -hmm. This is where the shirt comes into play. Okay? Let me get a better screwdriver. I usually use a smaller, a smaller screwdriver, the small tip, yes. so I don't strip the screw. So what I do is there's three screws, one, two, inside there, and three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just take it out, make sure not to lose these, it's very important not to lose these screws. I lost a couple of them. Mm -hmm.
Usually this one's hard to come out because of the wire, so I'll just take it out with the unit. Okay, now this should just pop out. Now, I just lay it on here for now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a cup. Maybe like a, a couple cups, just in case. switch the print head onto the cup. Remember, the reason we use a cup is because there's a hole in the cup. And we don't want anything to touch the Teflon coat. No. So we use empty space. So a cup is the best, best choice. Just lay it on top there. Now we're gonna get, you should have two syringes. You can see the white lines and the CMYK now, can't you? Where? Are these here? I mean, onto the print head? Yeah, so this is the whites. Yes. And of course, this is the color. Yes. Now, what I usually do is I have one syringe without the thorough rubber tubing, one width. This is for this. So you're going to put this all the way in into the hole. This is a damper. This is what it means by prime damper. This has to be down, right? So it's going to be up. So what you do is, before you put it in, it has to be up. The levers so must these be levers must be up. Yes. That, that, does that lock the ink or no, it allows it to flow, doesn't no, it? No, it turns it off. It turns it yes, off. Up it. is off. Right, because okay. if I have these down, these ink is just going to go down yep, into the car. Yep, yep. So you're going to have it up, put it in, lower the levers. Now you can pull in. So when you pull in, I don't know if he wants me to actually flush this machine or, or not, but... Well, <clears throat> no, look here it goes. You take it, you do it. All right, see? Yes. Now you see the ink. So you've so created a up. vacuum in there and right, it's drawing. Right, that's what the syringe is doing. Yeah. Okay. Now lock it, you, lock it. Right, you lock, you lock it. Now if you didn't lock it, that ink you could push back. No, if I didn't, if I didn't lock it, it would just uh, shoot yeah, right back. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Nothing no, sucking. No, yeah, you're right, creating so, a vacuum, yeah. So what I do is I usually clean it. So create the mask, no, not create the mask. I squirt it out. Yeah. I don't know if he really wants me to flush this or not. These are sealed cartridges. So now what we do is we have bulk cartridges. All right, so we're gonna take these out. Take these out. Oh, white's almost gone. And you know those bulk cartridges that, uh, th these right here? Yes. These right here. Okay. Uh, I don't know where the bulk cartridges are. What happens is, with textile, you're going to use cleaning solutions and green ones. So I'm just going to do one. Yeah. Does this show? Find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Be very careful. I use sometimes I use a funnel or I just use precision. This is the cleaning solution, eh? For the textile, yes. Solvent, this will not do anything to solvent. A solvent has not to do that, eh? Yeah, this won't do anything to solvent. Solvent mm -hmm. will still stay there. You need to have the uh, the cleaning solution. For it. Now what I do is uh You need to get rid of that now, yeah. Yeah, I gotta get rid of it. I'm gonna do the same process over and over until I see this yellow turn into green. But usually sometimes what they do is they do it unless until it's not thick. So I don't know if 
people really want me to flush this. But the process is the same for each. Yes. So you So need what I do is I always start from yellow to white. Yeah, so when you've done one, the process is the same for the other. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So what you do is make sure it's up. When, it's, when the syringe is in, down. Yank. So watch this. And you wait so that, until the cleaning when, solution when comes that through. Bubble, right, that's when the cleaning solution went right through. Take it out. Ooh, so when the syringe is in, this is uh, the cup is so like we usually use paper cups, mm -hmm. best choice. Unless you have a glass cup you want to use, but you know, dirty. So after you finish, you lift the levers up before you take it out. If so you when the syringe is in, yes, the level is up. When before you put the syringe in, it's up. Ah, when you put before. the syringe in, yes. When you put the syringe in. That's when you want to suck it, so you put it down. You open the. So when you open sitting the in, you put down. Yes. And then when when you put down, you pull the syringe like yeah. this. Yeah, and draw the. Pull it. Mm -hmm. This. After you finish, after it's full, put it up again, so the ink doesn't go back in. Yeah. So once so you, you put, put it the up, lever up. Right. So you, I just you know wipe it off a little bit, clean it. This gentleman wants us to go. And then you put this in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Welcome. 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 Deutschland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. We finished. Okay. Uh, now you repeat. And you keep drawing until, until you get until, the fluid. Yeah, until you see this clean. Yeah. Uh -huh. at, at one point it was uh, yellow. It's still yellow. Watch. Remember the yellow? Now you're going to see. You can see a hint of green in here. Mm -hmm. so it's going to be a up again, take out. Always remember that. If you do not, if you put it down, take it out, all the ink goes back in. And you're going to contaminate the green card. So look, see that? Now you see some kind of hint yeah. of green. Yeah. So when ink comes in, when ink comes in uh -huh. uh, the so once ink is in the syringe you're gonna yes. put this up which closes it yes which closes it yeah so up is closed down, down is, is open. open right so if you put it down and this is in there and you take it out while this is still down all that ink goes back in here mm -hmm. so your cleaning solution gets dirty yeah you start down mm -hmm. right so when the ink comes in the syringe the uh, comes in the syringe. Lift up the levers. Oh, no, close the levers. Lift up the level. Yeah, which okay. is closing. Now, you keep repeating this process. That's yeah, okay. for all lines, yeah. So that's priming. And then look, look at the ink line right here. You can see that it got very light. Yes. But very light. After you finish, after doing that, now it's time for... To put it back together. <laughs> Well, we're going to try to clean this up a little bit too. Okay. Because there's still ink in here now. Yeah. The only way to get rid of it is to, now we get this, cleaning solution again, right? And then we're going to clean the yellow, which is right here. Mm-hmm. Right the one on the end, yeah. Okay, cleaning solution. Now we get yellow right here. And you're gonna see it fall into here. Into which yeah. is gonna go through the print head. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can't see if you can come here at least. You see this? Yeah. It's kind of hard to see because this yeah, cup I can is see really bad. Yeah, yeah. I can see it me. coming through. Yeah. If you can see it coming through. Yeah. See that? See the stream? Uh -huh. Now this is another way to see if your lines, if your pinholes are good. Uh, yeah. If you see gaps, that means you gotta do some cleaning. Uh -huh. If it's perfect jet stream like this, then you're good. So you do this, and then you can see that the yellow is fading away. Yep. Yeah. So you keep doing that. Do you so have that? Color again. And what I do is, what I usually do is. 
I clean this with the swab. So let's say this is clean. I put in a cleaning solution and I go around just to wipe it off. See mm -hmm. this white one? This so white one is definitely go hard. got to do the white ones. Because mm -hmm. the white dries. Dries first. Yes, yeah, so you want to clean the white ones as much as possible. And then that's it. And then Justin has to teach you how to uh, take the dampers out. The, yeah. These are dampers. These are the, the dampers purpose is to cycle the ink and and feed it through the pinholes here. Why this one is a bit gray? Um, the reason why is because before when Epson tested their printer, before it came to here, they, it, this is light black. So I guess the light black it still yeah. stayed there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So that now you will have done all the lines, you will have done all the yeah. here. Right. So remember, you're going to suck everything out. Yes. And after you're done, all the carts, put all the bulk carts in with a decent amount of cleaning solution, each one. What I do is after I clean it, I do a power clean. Yes. So the machine can just rinse out everything that yes. I've done. So now your lines will be filled with green solution. So you pass from the lines after the, the solution. Yeah, so I'm going to put everything. So after I, I've done manually, uh, this is my step. I don't know, uh, Dustin, but you put the cartridges all in, ball cartridges like yours. Put all cleaning solution. Make sure they're all cleaning solutions, like clean carts, not dirty carts. With fill, up, fill up three quarters of the way. Each one, each one. After you do this, after you pull each one, clean this. We call it waterfall when you uh, squirt the clean solution out into the printhead. We call it waterfall. After you do that, put everything back, back to normal. Put the cleaning solutions in, do a power clean. Yeah, to bring them all through and... Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So that way, you know for a fact that your lines are clean, your print head is clean. That's just like the last step. And then you can leave your machine for a while. Yeah, you can take it off, put it on yeah. the side. Yep. Yeah. So let me see what Justin wants to say yeah. after this. You can turn that off now. Yeah.